All right, so here is what we have so far. There's the flashlight, and it's time now to add some text up here. Okay, we're gonna add some text. I'm gonna add something here, and then we're gonna add a little glow to our flashlight. Okay, so now um, what you need is a text editor, and uh, a lot of people are gonna use Photoshop, and some people are gonna use GIMP, which is free. And I'm going to use Flash just because I just like to do it. So I've just created a document and it's 600 pixels wide and 200 pixels tall, something like that. And I'm going to type some text in white and I'm going to export this as a PNG. So, okay. All right. So, whatever text editor you use, export this image as a PNG. So flashlight txt dot png. I'll do the full document size. All right, so you get some text. All right, so here we go. What I want to do is I want to come over to the UV editor and select where I want that text on my flashlight. I'm going to select here, but I'm just going to come back to this I'm going to go into edit mode and these faces I'm going to press 3 to go into face selection these faces are where I want my text but I don't know that I want it wrapping all the way around uh, you can choose um, a small area or a big area I'm just going to say I look from the top I'm just going to choose like Maybe the top. Hmm. Maybe I'll come around to the side here, but I'll deselect some of these. Say, say I want it there, just coming around here. I mean, you can go all the way around if you want, but I don't think my text is long enough. I'm just going to choose to put it there. All right. So I'm going to press when I've got those selected, U and unwrap. So I've got this. Okay, now, over here now, I've got those there. Over here, I'm gonna click open and find my text. There it is. And I'm gonna have that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this here, I'm gonna press A to select it, and I'm going to scale this in the X and sort of straighten it out like that. And I think it's not perfectly straight, so I'm going to select one of these. And I'm going to press U and follow active quads. I should straighten it out a bit. Select it all. Rotate 90. And just press G. Bring it over like this. Now I'm going to scale in the X so that my text is enclosed by this. G, S, X, this kind of thing. Okay, now I don't see it yet. Let's save. Let's go to the shading tab. And I need to create a new material on here for text. So I've got black but I want a second material on here with my text. So I am going to click new material. I'm gonna call this black text. But I'm gonna come back here because I want my black text to have the same basic shader on it. But I'm just gonna add the text part. So I'm gonna come here and I'm going to copy the material, come here and paste it. So now I'm going to come in and those rect those faces, rectangles, whatever faces that I want the text on, I'm going to choose black text and assign that there so that if I was to choose this one, it's just black, but these ones say black text. Okay. And here's where I'm going to add my black text. I'm going to grab this and pull it out. Shift A, Shader, Mix Shader, I'm going to put that in there. Right. And 
and now I'm going to say texture image texture and this I'm going to use and I'm going to open up my flashlight text there it is I'm going to attach the color to the shader you can start to see it and the alpha to the fact now it's transparent in there let's think it's probably going to be good practice to go control T take all of these and move them along and that's UV into there it didn't change anything but if I wanted to change any of those parameters I could all right I now have my text on there if I go into the UV editor now and I select those uh, let's go into here okay. if I wanted to I can scale this in the X and you'll see my text will change all right I can do this GY if I want to move it a little bit want it relatively central on those all right so I mean I can go back and change this text and do that if I want to it might not be the nicest fonts or whatever but just to show you how to get that that text on there And again, if you wanted it to wrap around, you just make your text longer and just experiment with that. Okay, good enough for now. All right, let's work on the final part of this now. I'm gonna select the front, go to materials. I don't have a material on here. I'm gonna click new and I'm gonna call this translucent. over here and I'm going to choose translucent for color I'm going to make it a little bit blue and darken it a little bit like that we'll try that okay and that's the material on this now behind this I want to put an emission texture so I'm just going to copy this shift D I'm going to pull it back a little ways and I think I'll take this one and hide it. And there's that one there. And I'm going to S to scale it down like that. And I'm going to get rid of that material and create a new material. I'm going to call this Mission. Come here, scroll up, choose Emission. And I'm going to choose something like uh, 40, let's say. Try that. Okay, all data, all that stuff back. Let's get rid of the reference now. And we have that so far. Now, uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, just a reminder that I'm in cycles and this, this is gonna work in cycles. This, this technique here is not gonna work in EV. Okay, let's have a look through a camera now I just brought a camera in and positioned it where I wanted it and we'll have a quick look at it uh, rendered with the lighting um, and with the text and with this and then we'll uh, do some compositing to give this um, a bloom like effect a glare like effect all right so you can see that I have this what looks like sort of plastic with a light in behind it and that's just the way that this technique works i'm not going for a, a glass uh, a glass look or reflective kind of look i'm going for this kind of thing 
Um, you can see my text here looks fine there so there's my flashlight um, and now what we can do is come out of the render come over to the compositing tab and this is what we have so far I'm gonna press N to close that I'm gonna pull this down a little bit and click on use nodes and now I can see this node here with a little image here in this composite node here I'm gonna press shift a and go to output viewer click this here and drag the image here into the image and now I can see my flashlight in the background next I'm gonna press shift a go to filter glare and drag that on there and I get a small amount of, of glare there. Okay. Um, I'm going to switch this to fog glow. It's changed a little bit. I'll put this on high. You don't see very much, but you see something. Okay. I'm going to come back to my render and go out of the camera view hide that and grab this and i am going to increase this to let's try 100. i'm going to render again okay back here to the compositor and I get a little bit more of a bloom here uh, than I had before and you can experiment um, you know with this as much as, as you like I'm going to drag this to the image here So what you saw there was it rendered and then it applied that and you can see it right in here. So now at this point, what I might do is come out of the camera, take this, let's have a look at this. Let's try darkening this, doing a quick render and seeing if I like the effect of that. If I see the, the blue anymore, do I want to increase you know the brightness of the emission do I want to move it back do I want to make it smaller all of these things I'll show you another thing that I tend to like to do to make it look a little bit better is basically just to to copy this and to make them small circles around almost like LEDs okay so it comes in at the very end um, let's look at that let's hide that Let's look from the front. And what I'm gonna do is I'm with that selected, I'm shift S, cursor to selected. I'm gonna shift D, copy this up, but S to scale. And just before I do anything, I wanna make sure that uh, those polys are facing outwards, which they are. Okay. I've got one here, I'm going to uh, I'll just set the origin to the 3D cursor. Okay, and I'm going to Shift D, rotate Y, say 45. Shift D, rotate Y, 45. Just come around, Shift D, rotate. of those and I'm going to take these select them all by holding shift and selecting them all and control J and that will join them I'm going to move them up a little bit make sure they're not interfering with that 
I've got my little region here and I'm going to render that. So as I do that, watch this area here uh, as soon as it finishes rendering and it should change its brightness. too much but we get something let's try darkening let's try a different color and darker okay so I'm liking that green quite a bit I will do one last thing on this before we quit I'm gonna knock this up to 500 see there's quite a bit more of an effect so it's just up to you with trial and error what it is that you really want to do I'm gonna press control alt B to get rid of that render region and zero to get out of the camera view alt H to bring that back and save and then if I want to make a copy instead of increasing my polys too much I'll go shift A collection instance flashlight I'll get another one and I'll pull this over here. Before I go any further, I'm going to make it a new collection. I'll call it Flashlight 2. Notice I could easily select the thing, you know, delete it or whatever. I didn't increase my polys, and I'm just going to rotate Z180. Uh, so I have another one in there. And let's see. You know, like this. Let's uh, have a look at this here. My lighting might not be great for that, but let's just let's just have a look at this without having to uh, readjust that. Okay, so yeah. Okay, and it now you know if I make any changes to this one. It adjusts the other one as you can see I don't want to do that of course all right so if I wanted them the same okay let's let's just render and have a look there we go and that's what I come up with for my simple um, flashlight so um, hopefully that was helpful <laughs> enjoyable thanks for watching and we'll see you next time